where we do the stress tests typically are over areas where we find that there's bilateral hypertonus. The best way to find bilateral hypertonus, again in prone, is to get your fingers on either side of the spinous process and palpate to see if there is hypertonus. Once you find that level of hypertonus, then you can see if it's provoked by doing a PA pressure over the spinous process, realizing that you're going to have to angle it along that angle of the spinous process itself. So instead of PA, it's a little bit more superior motion. Once you do your PA pressures, as you're working your way down, you're looking to see if there's any increase in discomfort. You can do a rotatory stress by taking your thumb and knuckle in a key grip, getting on the transverse process, but then dropping your knuckle or your thumb to the lower transverse process. When you do a straight PA, the side that's exposed, so in this case the right side is open, that's going to create a right rotation because we name the rotation by the top vertebrae on the bottom. So this is a right rotation stress test. So then once I find a level of hypertonus, I always take up a little bit of the skin slack. I'll drop down one and I'll do a stress test. Now you don't have to drive the rib in the, th in the transverse process into the table. You just Sink down till you feel an infill, just like Chandler on Friends when you use a Q-tip stop when you feel resistance, and just hold it there. So you can work in stress rotation and PA pressures. We can also do stress tests to the rib by fixing the contralateral transverse process and doing a lateral stress on the angle of the rib. So you'll find that level of hypertonus again, or maybe an area where you felt the ring was shifted. And you do this cross arm technique where you're at the angle of the rib or transverse process on one side of the vertebra. You come to the angle of the rib on the other side. So I'm transverse process with this hand. Soft tissue lock up to the angle of the rib, and now I'm pushing fixing with this hand and then pushing with this hand to see if I can do a lateral stress. For the rib itself, we can push it superior or inferior and that will induce a roll just to see if we're getting any clicking provocation before we stress the rib as well. So then I'm on the same side. I'll get onto the transverse process. So I'm on the top part of the transverse process I'm just under the angle of the rib and I'm pushing superior anterior, basically doing an anterior roll. I can get on the inferior part of the uh, transverse process, superior part of the rib, push down in order to create a posterior roll, but you're really just putting tension one way or the other through. Outside of that, I don't do prone manipulations on the thoracic spine, just haven't felt the need to. And I think that sometimes that is what induces some of these issues that we saw and listed out in the class. But you can just take your hands and do some gentle rib springing just to see as you're compressing, it will cause the rib to slightly give like that and see if it feels like super rigid or the patient's uncomfortable with that, you know you're going to follow up with a pre-minute hold anyway with the patient. So these tests that we're doing now are just what's designed to keep us safe.